What's up, you guys? We got uh, the featherweight division here. At the top, we got Ila Teporia. Um, at number 15, we got Sadiq Yusuf. Do I think he has a chance against somebody like Teporia? I really don't. Honestly, I really don't. Um, at one point in time, I thought he was pretty good. Not so much anymore. He's on a couple fight losing streak. Um, it happens to the best of them, but I just think that he doesn't have what it takes to compete in the upper of the division here, especially when, um, let's see who he lose to. We got Diego Lopez and Edson Barbosa. He lost to recently. I think that if you can't clear those guys, then you're not going to beat somebody like the champion. I really don't. Um, I still think he's a decent fighter. Um, this, this division is just uh, super deep, and uh, we'll move on because I don't think he has a chance, to be honest. Next up, we got, we got Diego Lopez, a super flashy fighter, doing really good as of lately. Came out losing a couple fights at first um, to start his UFC career, but um, now he's doing well. He tagged Evloev in his fight, and I rate uh, Evloev pretty high. And I uh, even had him seeing stars for half a second there, but um, ultimately Evloev won that fight. Um, I think Diego Lopez is good and fun to watch, but I don't think he's going to be the champion, to be honest with you. Uh, good fighter, though, and uh, I really enjoy his fights. Next up, we got Dan Ige. Honestly, he could be the lowest uh, fighter on this list, but uh, yeah, I don't rate him that highly. At one point, I liked his boxing and uh, thought he was pretty good as well. Um, he seemed like he had KO power, and then was there some sort of steroid thing going on with him at one point in time? I can't remember, but... Um, I, I just think he could be the lowest person on this list, uh, even after Sadiq Yusuf. So I'm going to say no to Dan Ige. Uh, not a chance there. Uh, Bryce Mitchell, he was a promising prospect there for a little bit. Um, the country boy coming out and uh, submitting people, looking like a Brazilian jiu-jitsu jiu expert. But um, honestly, he already got beat by Taporia, and he got subbed by him, and that was his specialty. I think Mitch, Mitchell needs to uh, gain a little bit of muscle mass and uh, focus on the boxing and the the uh, standing department of the fighting because uh, I don't think he can outdo Taporia. I don't think he could beat Volk. I don't think he could beat Holloway. Holloway would whoop his ass. So I, I just don't see somebody like Bryce Mitchell beating the top three of the division right now. Um, no chance. Edson Barbosa. Obviously, he's too old. He couldn't really uh, hang in there in his prime. He's always been somebody that has skirted the outside of everything. Um, and at this point in time, I think he's just a bit too old for this. I'd, I don't think that he could uh, make a run for it now. I still consider him a good fighter, and he has moments, especially right now after you know the post-USADA era. He might be showing a, a really different side of him. We might see him move the dial back five years or so. But um, in terms of defeating the champion, I just doubt that highly. So I, I'm going to say no for Edson Barbosa because he's just uh, too old right now. Uh, Giga Chad, Giga Chikazi. Um, I'm not sure how he lost to Cater, but he's got no ground game and possibly that's how he did it. And Cater is somebody I don't rate that highly, especially in the chances to beat somebody like Taporia. Uh, Cater has not been winning as of late. Um, him and Giga, I'll just combine them right now and say that they're both not going to make it. Um, Cater's kind of turning into a bum a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. He looked like he was good, especially when he faced Giga. But um, maybe that's just the factor of having a well-rounded uh, game compared to somebody who doesn't have any ground game at all. And uh, that just shows how important it is. But Calvin isn't looking that good. Uh, everybody seems to be schooling him as of late. And uh, I'm going to say that there's really no chance for him either. Uh, next up on the list is somebody I view as underrated right now. Kind of underappreciated because possibly they're not a big sell, as we know. Um, is Aljamain Sterling. Um, I think he should be higher on this list. I consider him a B-level fighter, if not a B+. Plus. And, um, and maybe even A-, minus. honestly. <clears throat> I think he's better than somebody like Josh Emmett. Arnold Allen, um, possibly even Rodriguez, Yair, but um, possibly even Ortega, you know, I, I could see that. But he pissed somebody off because he's, he's just rated kind of low on this list, uh, the ranking list for some reason. But I think he's a good fighter. He got caught by O'Malley. He's got a boring style, but 
ultimately he has been the champion before and he knows what to do and he's a competitor and uh even if he's got a cheat to win he's gonna win you know not not my favorite style at all and not my favorite fighter at all but i think there's a slight chance for uh sterling a slight slight chance but i think he would just get chinned again you know um next up we got josh emmett now he's got a uh nuclear bombs in his hands and especially with no drug enforcement, we might be able to see uh, some extra old man strength popping in. But he got outclassed on the feet um, by Taporia himself. He uh, Taporia actually doubled Emmett's output. And uh, if Emmett's taken out these people like Bryce Mitchell so easily, and then somebody like Taporia is outclassing somebody like that, the MMA math is just showing that there's there's such great levels to this. In fact, I, I really think there's a top three to this division, but this whole division is actually pretty good, to be honest with you. Um, Josh Emmett, I'd rate him about a C-plus fighter. He has flashes of being a really good fighter, especially when that right hand lands. Uh, is it? I don't know if it's a right hand or a left hand, to be honest with you, but whenever it does land, it's probably both. Um, it, the opponent's in for a nightmare on that one. So uh, I'm going to say he has no chance against Deporia because... Uh, Taporia would be able to, uh, tackle him and wrestle, out-wrestle him and possibly even submit somebody like that. Um, in fact, he's already outclassed him. Um, next up, we got Arnold Allen. Now, Arnold Allen used to be one of my favorite fighters. He used to be, uh, I, I was like, man, this guy can make a run for the title and this and that. But I think he's just very, very good. And I don't think he's great. Um... He doesn't have as good a wrestling as somebody like Evloev. And in, the, in their fight, he was outclassed in that way. I like him. I still like him on the feet. But for some reason, I don't think... I think he's a B-level fighter. Um, could be B+. Plus, but I don't think he could beat the top three. I couldn't see somebody like Allen hanging in there. Even on the feet, which is a specialty, with somebody like a Max Holloway. Because, or a Yair. I think he would get diced up and eaten up on the feet with somebody like that. So... Um, I'm going to say somebody like Arnold Allen probably doesn't have the best chance for something like this. All the lower people of the division he beats, people like Sadiq Yusuf and things like that, but the, the upper end of the, of the division, he just doesn't beat those guys, to be honest with you. And we got, uh, like Max Holloway, uh, doubled up him and then Evloev hang, hung in there with the striking and took him down five times. You know what I mean? So... Ultimately, I don't think Arnold Allen is the top tier type of fighter, but he's very, very good. Next up, we got Evloev, who beat Arnold Allen. Now, Evloev, it, to me, seems a lot like Taporia. He's good everywhere. He might, where Taporia is a little bit more cranked on on the striking, Evloev might be a little more cranked on on the wrestling part of it. Um... But uh, Evloev is a good fighter. He kind of even looks like a Russian version of Taporia in a way. They could be distant cousins. Um, he's a decision machine, to be honest. I think he's uh, slightly taller than um, Taporia is, which might give him a little bit of an advantage. And he might be able to secure control time. And this guy, this guy's looking good. I think I put a star by his name because this is one of the guys that I think could really do it and could really uh, defeat Taporia on a good night. Um, this division is just st uh, so stacked that it's it's really hard to make decisions on it, honestly. But um, Evloev, I'm going to give him a decent chance. I'm actually going to say I'm going to give him a 50% chance in uh, defeating Taporia. I'm going to uh, also rate him an A-level uh, fighter as well. Next on the list, we have Yair Rodriguez. Now, Yair, we've seen for a long time, uh, but some sometimes we've seen him look amazing, and sometimes we've seen him look kind of trash. And he, whenever, was it, if my memory serves me correct, I haven't watched this fight in a long time, but um, whenever he was fighting Korean Zombie, wasn't, wasn't he losing up until that last second, and then he needed that elbow to get the win? Now, I could, I'm, I could look it up, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's what it is. But this guy's one of the best strikers we've ever seen. And, you know, the, the Jai Herbert thing, uh, kick is what gave Taporia that knockdown that one time. He did come back, but he got that knockdown, and he said he didn't see that coming. And Yair's going to have plenty more where that came from. 
and it's going to be very similar. No setups. It's like a knife set, you know. That year is like a Swiss Army knife when it comes to different kicks and strikes. So um, that that's going to be really crazy to see. He might have a harder time with that, but I just think he's more durable, a little bit tougher, um, can hang into a, a tougher situations when the going gets tough. I think Taporia is going to get going, and uh, Rodriguez would like a way out of there. Um, I just I I think that Jair has a chance, but I gave four people a chance, and he's number four, so I give him the least likely chance of uh, defeating Taporia of the four. But there's a slight possibility. Uh, next up on the list, we got Brian Ortega. Uh, honestly, I think he's a little bit overrated. Um, he's looked good before, but the last time he's looked really, really good was against, uh, the Asian dude. And that was it. And I still remember that. And I always think of in my head, it was, uh, wasn't that the time that he was bald as well, but I always think of that and I'm like, yeah, that's what I remember. And then he almost got Volk that one time, but I think he's been overrated. I really think he's been, uh, over overrated. He's almost, uh, always over outworked. Let me double check that real quick. Yeah, going back a very long time, he's been outworked, you guys. So the fact that he's number three, I don't think that's going to last very long. And I think people like Yair and uh, Evloev and Allen and like Yair, he's even lost to Yair, you know. And then, uh, but people like that, I think could definitely uh, take it away from uh, him. Even somebody like Allen on a good night. I think could defeat Brian Ortega, possibly, but probably not because he would get taken down and choked out. But I don't know. I think Brian Ortega would be fifth on the list here. And I and I think Brian Ortega isn't as good as Aljamain Sterling, to be completely honest with you. Hmm, it's a close one. It's a close one, but I don't think Brian Ortega would have a chance. Let me know what you think. Um, next up, we got Max Holloway, the BMF, looking amazing lately. I mean, it's crazy. When he's uh, bulked up a little bit, um, he's been an insane fighter. He's looked, uh, he, he's been in this game forever, but he just finds a way to make it work and uh, not get knocked out or anything. Uh, one of the best fighters that there is on the roster, I would say. Uh, I would say out of everybody, I give Max the best chance, the, be the best chance to beat him. Uh, Max does deserve to, to face somebody like uh, McGregor, but I don't, I don't, I'm not sure McGregor would actually want to face somebody like that. Because Max has just looked too crisp as of lately. And um, I don't know. I, I think that Max Holloway definitely has the best chance against Taporia. And whenever the camera uh, panned to Taporia, he did look a little nervous. I can't lie. So I'm going to give Max a 50% chance in beating Taporia, if not even a little bit more. So, yeah. There's definitely a big three when it comes to the featherweight division. And it's uh, Taporia. Volk and Max Holloway. So next up, we're going to talk about Vol Volkanovski. Um, their first fight was very interesting. Super interesting. Because, like, you think that Volk's actually going to uh, come away with the win on this fight. But it's crazy. Uh, is too good everywhere. Eventually, that right hand lands. And you can see that right hand getting closer and closer and closer. But to be honest, Volk was winning. And Volk uh, kept peppering him. And the slow and steady winning was going to Volk. But now Volk's been chinned uh, two times, even though he was uh, making Taporia's nose red and everything. Boom, that right hand eventually chinned him. And uh, the biggest moments were going to Taporia, but the fight uh, was so close, you guys. It was so close that uh, I still even give Volk a chance, and I put him number three on the list. Uh, I'd give him like a 35% chance. And uh, honestly, I don't I don't diminish Volk too much. He still looks like a good fighter. And against the bums, like against any of these lower guys, he's going to kick their ass. Honestly, he's going to kick their ass. Um, it's funny when you watch that Taporia fight because uh, Joe Rogan's just going on and on and on about, or not on and on and on. Okay, that's an exaggeration. But he goes on about the calf kick changing the game. And uh, it's just so funny to hear that again. But he he's not wrong. To be completely fair, but uh, after the first round, the odds were completely even. So that if that tells you anything, uh, I think Volk still has a chance. But like I said, I'd go Max, Evloev, uh, Volkanovski, Rodriguez, 
And then uh, I still think there's a good chance that Taporia uh, remains the champion because he's so good. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.